So what we're going to talk about moving here still, and we're still talking about position three, is how much does the torso turn? So I've got one of the greatest training aids that George Gankis came up with. It's called the G-Box. So as you can see right here on my seam line, there's a line right here that is going to help me measure and figure out how much I'm turning. So here's what I see a lot of people do is they think that this is turning, but if you look at this line, this line isn't really moving. This is more linear and lifting as opposed to rotating. So how much should we turn the torso? Let's take a look right here. So as I'm set up face on to you and I go position two, turning up into position three, you can see I've moved this quite a bit. I'm probably somewhere in the 30 to 40, 40 degree range of rotation with my torso. Now, that does not mean that's what yours has to be. There are some players that I've seen who create a lot more rotation to position three. There are some players who create less turn to position three. It's all about syncing it up for what feels the best for you and what you can repeat the most. The other great thing about this is we can hit golf balls. So as I stand here down the line, I'm gonna try and feel there's 30 to 40 degrees of turn set up to my target and I'm gonna repeat that feel and turn, turn. And that was a pretty good swing right there. It was really solid. So this is what the torso should be doing as we're turning. We want to get this moving so that we don't just have arm lift, which turns into steep and inconsistent golf shots.